Okay, uh, in this clip I'm going to show you how to apply a uh, total loss uh, feature. Um, so you see the ROs in red, they're actually total loss vehicles and I'm going to show you how that uh, you do that. So I highlight the vehicle that I want to declare as total loss and I'm going to go up to the line items. Um, in the line items you'll see in the action key here that it says total loss. So if I click on that, uh, what it's going to do is says uh, uh, you are about to mark this job as a total loss. Uh, this will automatically return all of your parts that have been received and zero out the job. Uh, do you want to do this? And I'm going to say yes. Now I can go ahead and give it a second. It's just returned my parts and if you look in my parts uh, area all the parts that have been received, and you can see this has just been or this is on order, but everything that has been received has been declared as a credit return. And up at the top of the screen, you'll see we have six credit returns. So, if I decide that I want to change it back, I go to line items, I go back to the total loss and it's going to ask me do I want to change it back and the answer is going to be yes. And it says do you want to convert the uh, job back from a total loss? Yes. And at this time, let's go back to the home key job just so we can refresh and let's see what it does to our parts. And it still has the parts on credit return. So that should conclude how the total loss works.